and thank you for being here today. Hey, thank you for having me. I'm excited about being here. And, and you know, excitement is what we feel when we listen to your music. Why do you choose to be inspirational? Wow. Uh, I think writing inspirational music, I was born to do it. Um, it uplifts people, it blesses people hard, it takes them out of a down uh, spirit to an uplifting spirit, uh, brightens their day, you know, and that's what I'm about, I'm a people's person, I love people, and uh, that's why I do the music that I do. Now, a lot of people don't know, as a child, uh, you know, I, I never stress much, that's my new single, I never stress much, so I had a colostomy bag as a child, and my grandmother prayed me through that, uh, and I was healed at reverse. And then as an adult, I had uh, open heart surgery. I died twice uh, on the operating table. The doctor said when he got ready to go out to tell my family I was not going to make it, he said he opened the door and like a cool wind just blew by. He was like, huh, what's that, you know? And uh, he said, let me just go back and try him one more time. When he came back that uh, second time, that third time to try me, uh, I started breathing on my own. But I didn't know I was, you know, in the world or what I was going through at the time, but they told me the story afterwards. Um, so I just never stressed through the whole process of, of the colostomy bag, through the whole process of open heart surgery. I just don't stress about things, you know. I heard an old saying say, if you pray, don't worry, and if you worry, don't pray. What was the thought process behind putting Angie Stone on this record? <laughs> I have a team behind me. The team makes me look very cool. <laughs> uh, my partner, Jerome Hunt, uh, he, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I know I look young, right? <laughs> yeah, very, very. Yeah, uh, I've been doing this for over 20 years, and uh, we just have to change, you know, our sound and uh, to reach a new generation now and all that good stuff. So we were talking, and he said, hey, Damon, it's time for you to do a collaboration. I haven't done one since my career. So uh, he said, but if we, get, if we do a collaboration, we got to get somebody iconic. And we were thinking and tossing around, and Angie's name came up. We contacted her, and uh, she said, well, I don't get on many records, uh, especially, you know, uh, okay, let me hear the record first thing. She said, yeah, I'll hear the record, and if the record has substance, if, it, if it's a hit, you know, if it reaches the people, uh, their core, then I may get on. I'll get with y'all in a few weeks. We sent her the record about 30 minutes later. She said, when the record first opened up, I knew it was a hit record. She said, I got to be a part of this. She says, um, we're going to bless the world with this record. So I'm excited about that because she was working on a project at the time. Mm -hmm. And she pulled away from what she was doing to be on this uh, Damon Little project. So that was a blessing. Uh, and the record is moving fast. It's like number 22 on the Billboard and media based charts now within a week and a half. So uh, a lot of things are happening for us and tour dates, calls are coming in. So I'm excited. This is the most excitement I had in my whole career. Wow. So will we see you in Mississippi again? Yeah, you'll see me in Mississippi. I usually come to Mississippi to support the Ecclesia, uh, Esther Wooten, uh, Harvey Watkins. They have a big event every year. I'll come there for that. Of course, I got to come to Mississippi for the good, good food. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot to do. You know, in, in Mississippi, a lot of people don't know that. But uh, yeah, I definitely will come here to see you again as well. Boy, yes. That's yeah. the perfect way. And coming back to WJTV. <laughs> yeah. The best station in Mississippi. I heard you say it. Oh, yeah. You all are the best station in Mississippi. You got that right.